But now, after the event, we know that the emphasis has changed. Now, after the event, we know that by working together hand in hand, more, much more can be achieved. The point is this. We do not have to be on our own. We may work for different businesses, we may work for small business, but we don't have to be on our own. This is something I've noticed in virtually every organization. Because we are so busy on our own work and folks on what it is that we have to do, quite often we don't consider anybody else. Now, I'm not suggesting that anybody works against each other, but what I'm suggesting is, is that we are not tapping into a resource that's under our very noses. I've noticed this in every institute, every organization that I've spoken for. I like to think about this. I like to think about you, the individual. You. Think about the work that you do. You, the individual. Think about the experience you have, the knowledge you have, the insight that you have. You. Now look around the room. Because everyone else has insight, knowledge, experience, and expertise as well. And there are certain things that is common to everybody. But there are some things that our friends on that table at the back over there will know about, but you will have no idea about. And that information will be of use to you. There are things that you will know about that our friends over there will have no idea about, but that information will be of use to them. There are things, and so on. Could you imagine what you could achieve if you could collate all that information together and utilize it? Another reason why my business went downhill in 2002 was this. I was in business all on my own. It was just me, nobody else. And I realized that I needed to surround myself with some sort of a support mechanism, some sort of a team of people. But I have no desire to run a business bigger than just me. Today, I don't run a business any bigger than just me. It's just me. And yet I have a team of people around me that it gives me moral support when I need it. So around about 2010, I read a phenomenal book called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Chapter 10 was the chapter that resonated the most with me. The power of the mastermind. Let me tell you what I did. I contacted, in my case, four other professional speakers. We're all spread around the country. Four other professional speakers. And in our case, we meet up once every six to eight weeks. In our case, for a whole day. Yes, we're part of our own association. I'm a member of the Professional uh, Speaking Association. We're all part of the association, but this is extracurricular to that. So we get together for a whole day in our case. And each of us brings an issue to the table. And the first person says, this is my issue. And then we use our collective insight, knowledge, and experience and expertise to help that person find a solution to that issue. The next person says, this is my issue. And we use our collective insight, knowledge, experience, and expertise to help that person find a solution to that issue and so on around the table. Why? Because four, five, six brains looking for a solution to an issue is far more powerful than one brain having to do it on their own. So what we did, uh, and also in between meetings, we keep in touch with each other. We have a, little f a closed Facebook group where we share best practices as well. How does this apply to you?